Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be discussing Golden Ratio. How to design a logo using Golden Ratio. Although art and design are often led by instinct and inspiration, but the Golden Ratio uses mathematics to transform your logo, your image making, your layout, your typography, and so much more professionally. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to design a logo professionally using golden ratio stay right here as we dive right into it so we're talking about the golden ratio in design in arts it is um, infamously subjective According to 99 Design, it is infamously subjective. One person trash can be another person's masterpiece. But luckily, there is an age-old number that can aid, aid your designs into scientifically proven beauty, which is the golden ratio. The golden ratio is the number used when two quantities are divided in a way that their ratio is the same as the ratio of their sum to the larger one. To the larger one of, of um, two quantities. This number is um, 1.62, 1 1.6, 1 1.618. Yeah. It is also called the pi. But let's now dive into this theory as um, this theory is more of practical. So now we have to create our golden, our golden square. To create that, you create a perfect square. You duplicate it and align it towards the base of the first square. Then you create another square. No, another square that is exactly the height of this square. So this is it. Yeah, it is equal height. Then you align it towards the left. You select all squares together and rotate it by 90. You can reduce it, doesn't matter. Then you create another square that is of the same height. With this just like we did earlier move it towards the left to align towards the left you do the same thing again create another square and it towards the left and you do it one more time so this is our golden square now, what we are dealing with is um, circles. So you need to form your circles from this golden square. To do that, you can just draw a perfect circle into your square. Or you can just, using your shape tool or your corner tool, I mean, in Illustrator, you can just convert this to circle using your shape tool, drag from the top right or top left or top bottom turn it into a perfect circle to a perfect circle into a perfect circle perfect circle these are the same size so you literally you don't need the second one so what you just do is you align all the circles together you align them to be at the center then centralize it what i just used was a shortcut c and e once you press c it comes to the center it aligns center then it aligns horizontally so um it aligns horizontally using alphabet E on your keyboard. So basically, that's, this is your golden circle. Now, we'll be using this golden circle to design a logo I already sketched yesterday. I mean, a few days back. So uh, let me just find, let me just bring up the logo. The sketch. I save it to my desktop. Come on. Okay, so this is the sketch. This is the sketch. 
I snapped it with my phone. What what the other way you can do is to scan it with a scanner and import it to your Corel Draw. So now we know this logo has circles and and straight lines. If if you are not mistaken, this is a perfect circle. This is can be formed using circle. This can be formed using circle. This can be formed using circle. Even this can be formed using circle. But these ones are straight lines. So we need to get those areas that are formed using circle. We need to get it done using our golden circle. So the first thing you do is you reduce the opacity using your transparency to you reduce it to maybe 70. Yeah, so um, you carry your golden circle. One thing you must make sure you never do is once you start using the golden circle to design, you do not reduce the size or increase the size, no matter the reason. So one thing you must make sure is you drag it over to your sketch and make sure the biggest circle fits the biggest curve. This is this is like the biggest curve of this logo. So let's make sure it fits in the biggest curve. I don't know. You can see like this. It's still a bit big. So we can reduce it even more. Yeah, this is like the biggest circle. Yeah, this is the biggest circle. And that's the biggest curve. So uh, what you do is you just keep using um, one of um, the circles. You make sure you, you, you look for the curves and the circle that fits in or that matches to draw it out. Okay, this is what I'm saying. I'm using this circle now to draw the biggest curve, which is this. Another thing you should make sure you should uh, know is that it is not compulsory that it's, it is very, very accurate like this. Like the circle is like this to make sure it is perfect or perfectly aligned. If you want to make sure it is perfectly aligned, then you are going against the rule of the golden ratio. So before you start at all, you must decide, okay, which size of circle should be the biggest. Okay, so I think this works for me. But on the other hand, it doesn't really work because of the height of this. So I'll just increase it. Yeah, this works for me. So um, we'll do this first. There, there's a circle here. Which one works? Let's try this. Let's see. Let's try this circle. Does it work? It's too big. Let's try this then. Yeah, I think this works. Maybe not totally, but it works. So you do not alter your grid size, your golden circle size. You do not alter the size. Just use it the way it is. Then there's another curve here. We will do the same circle work. No, it's too small. So let's use the bigger one. Let's see. Does it work? Yes, I think it does. It does. It gives me this curve. Yeah. So let's go again. This inner sec this inner curve here. Which one works? Let's try this. Um, it's too big. Let's try the smaller one. Um, yeah, this works. Yeah, this works. Then there's a curve here that can be achieved using a circle. There's also another curve here. So let's see which one will work. Let's try this. Does this work? Um, this doesn't work. Just make sure um, your circles are touching each other. Okay? Make sure they are touching each other. Does this work? No. The curve extends towards this side. So this doesn't work. You delete. Let's use the biggest one and see if it works. I think the biggest one should work. Yeah, the biggest one works. It works. So it comes like this. Then let's do the same thing for the base. Using the biggest circle. Okay. Um, this... Make sure they are touching each other. Do not forget. Like I said, you necessarily do not need to follow the sketch when you're using a golden ratio. So if you can see, this one is, the sketch is extending over this side, but my golden circle is connecting here. So you just ignore it. That's, that's um, what golden circle does. So um, the next thing is, okay, we've gotten this shape. We've gotten this shape out. But if you see, this is extending towards this side. Then this, 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 and this. Then the beak. So the remaining part 
it will be done using lines. So to get this big, you use a straight line. Just make sure it is connecting with the circle. Then you do another one here. Just make sure it is connecting with the circle. So I think we've gotten the big done here. Then this place needs an extension. You can use a straight line also. So that the curves comes like this. Then it goes like this. You feel me? So now the next thing is another straight line here. And um, another one here. I just duplicated that. Then, um, then the legs. Let me just duplicate this. Duplicate it for the leg. Then we have the base of the leg, which is like this. Stick is standing on. I think that should align with the base of the tail. So I can just draw a straight, rect straight line. So um, if you are trimming off, we need something to stop here and to stop here. So we can just draw another line here. And another line here. So basically, this is the sketch for the for the bird. So now, what you need to do is copy out your grid first. Copy, Control C, copy. You know, once you copy, it's already in your clipboard. So once you copy, you now start using your segment, visual segment delete tool, or on your Illustrator, your shape builder, to delete the parts you don't need. For example, this is excessive. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need all this. You click and drag. Then it deletes those lines you click on. We do not need this. I think I deleted something. I deleted the line here. So let me undo. Yeah. That line is for the beak. So I shouldn't delete it. And this, 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 this. This, this, this. So um this but again I do not need this. I do not need this. Not this. Not this. Then you keep on cutting and cutting. We do not need this, not this. What do we not need again? This comes like this. So we do not need everything here. Okay. Um it ends here, so we do not need this, not this. We do not need this, not this. Then, do not need this. We do not need this. We do not need this. We do not need this, 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 this. So now, this inner part, we do not need all this, all this, and then this. This also. Yeah, basically, this is what we did with the golden circle. So, all we just need to do is, I can just weld them together. Then increase the outline width. This is a monoline approach, actually. You can just increase the outline width. Let me use 40. And using 40, we can see um, the line caps are sharp. You can just go to our outline option. You can press F12 on your keyboard or you double click here. Then you change it, you change the corners to curve, to round corners. Then you change the line cap to round cap. You see that? You see that? You just click OK. So this is our logo. I can just increase it to 50 a little bit. Yeah, I prefer it this way, depending on your preference, actually. So 50 works for me. So the next thing is um, I convert my objects, my outline to objects. So I can then give it any color. I can even give it an outline if I want any color at all. So that's it. So now remember we copied the grid earlier. So you just right click and um, if there's no paste here, just go to edit. Go to edit, then you click on paste. So that's it. You just pasted your grid and your grid is with your logo. You can group the two together, get rid of your sketch. This is your logo. This is your logo. Let me just copy the logo and put it on a new page like this. This is the logo. So this was done using the golden circle. 
So that is uh, the end of this tutorial on how to design a logo using Golden Circle. Should you need any question, should you have any question as regards this video or something you know you're not clear with, do let me know in the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe, like, and share with other creatives. Thank you very much.